what's going on guys welcome back to a brand new video now today it was an interesting one we uh did some racing on gran turismo sport i know i know it's been forever since i've touched that game we finally did some racing around gran turismo sport because they put in together a really great combination for daily races it was super gt cars around suzuka and like i said just beautiful uh, i think super gt cars on anything on gran turismo sport is just the best experience on the game if you guys want the perfect amount of power and grip those are the cars that you want to be racing and especially around suzuka always a good time now with this race we qualified all right we got into a pretty fast lobby um we had some aliens in there like always you know it's it's typical you get on a race you're bound to have an alien on there but we also had some guys that were around our skill level and we were actually able to have some really good fun so you guys are going to watch today some of the craziness that ends up happening here on suzuka especially with these super gt cars and what happens when you throw in a good race where you have to worry about a strategy and also how crazy you can get towards the end when um people get very very desperate for a certain position so i don't want to take any more of your time let's jump right into it so here's zach Oh, I see you at night. Okay. Yeah, you never know. You might be able to catch up to us because uh, we might be battling here for this third place position. I feel like Quartz and Drifter, they're just going to pull away. And we're just going to be stuck here trying to fight for podium. Oh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are bottling it. All right. Here we go, boys. Well, Alexis is already getting pretty squirrely. The Mexican really did not get a good start. Like KRT, jeez, he's all over his rear. Oh. <laughs> I thought we were gonna run into the back of the Mexican. Defend the inside. I knew Will was gonna try to go into the inside there, but, so we had to cover it. Oh, just a bit wide. Never really hurt anybody. We're fine. Well, we survived lap one. Sheesh, that Lexus is all over the rear of the second place driver, too. What was that, Quartz? Oh, do we dare go for the inside? Yeah, I was thinking about it. Oh, KRT went for it on courts. Courts has to be on the hearts. No way that he, he's uh, falling back to third. Rada, where are you going? Woo. Oh, man, I'm already here. back out oh course is off oh. I can't believe he lost it did, did he get hit by KRT or did he just lose it on his own oh that'd be such a shame if he lost it on his own that's the craziness about this race is that like one simple mistake and be very detrimental towards your race. Oh, something happened to Will because he was right behind us like a lap ago. I've been too busy trying to stay behind the Mexican. Oh! 
Hold it, hold it, my guy. Alright, let's see if we can get around him passing Spoon, because we're not going to be able to get him here. Too far back. Maybe on the exit of 130R? Maybe? It's going to fit in the inside. You know what? I'm going to try turn one. All right, we could do that. Jeez, you, you guys see that gap that Drifter had on us and he was on the hearts? That is absolutely ridiculous. Now we're just trying to catch up to KRT. Keep a good pace here so we can catch up to KRT. Now what I'm hoping is that he's not on the hearts. All right, looks like he's on the mediums. Oh, he's coming in. Okay. Interesting decision. We'll stay out another lap. Especially because we're, we're basically running low 51s, high 50s. Now what I'm hoping is that all those guys that just came into the pits, they end up fighting with all the other cars that stayed out. And we don't have to deal with any of that traffic when we come out of the pits. Oh, just overshot it just a bit. All right, switch off to the hearts. But alrighty, let's see where we come out at. It's gonna be close. Ah, oh, we just got jumped. Will hasn't came in either, so we should technically be P4. It's gonna be the battle for podium. Yeah, I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. Heading to that hairpin. But I keep losing time. I don't. Maybe I just need to let the car roll through longer. I don't know. I feel like Spoon. I've been all right on. And that was a good run through Spoon. But it's the uh, hairpin where I'm just like, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing incorrectly. Oh, it's getting spicy up there. Come on, boys, keep fighting so I can catch up. Yeah, something's bound to happen here. Two laps to go. These guys are fighting really hard for a second. And we still lost time in the hairpin. Oh, the Lexus has been a moment. Covering the inside. Mexican's not close enough to go for lunch here. Oh, it's gonna be interesting. Alright, where are you going? Send to the inside. Just kept it. Oh, oh, the, oh, the Brazilian almost lost it. I have to read the afterwards. Oh, and the Lexus gets a half second penalty. It's going for the cutback. The Mexican gave us a cheeky little bump on the back as well. Oh, Brazilian's off. That was very naughty from the Lexus. Very, very naughty. He knew. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't realize that there was that many cars right behind us. Can we just defend it just for one more lap? Please do not ram me. Alright. 
We just gotta hold this position up for one more lap. I don't think they're close enough to get a move on the inside. Oh, but we do not have any grip. That was a really bad exit. Horse trying to send it on the inside of the Mexican on the exit. We're able to pull away just a bit. Oh, don't run wide. There we go. Alright, guys. We just have to just navigate our way through one more sector and we should have this second. Come on. There we go, boys. Off the final corner. Get in there. Let's go. I'll take that. P2. With a 150.9, I'll take that. Any day. So there it is, guys. That was the race that we had here at Suzuka. Now, we got very, very lucky. We should have not gotten that second place. If you guys saw that guy, Quartz, he's actually very, very quick. One of the fastest guys here in the Americas. Unfortunately, due to the fact that he had that mistake heading to the chicane, it just basically ended and ruined his race. Luckily, we were able to work our way back up into second place, and the strategy worked out perfectly. Now, regarding what the Lexus did to the Brazilian, I think that was on call for. I know the Lexus had a half a second penalty. He could have waited uh, another corner or even another lap to try to make a move on the Brazilian. If you have a penalty, there's no point in trying to race with another person and especially getting them out and destroying the race. I just don't think that that was called for, but hey, the Lexus went for it and unfortunately the Brazilian had to pay the price. Now again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys really enjoyed it, smash that like button, help us out on the YouTube algorithm, hit that red subscribe button down below turn that red subscribe button to a gray button and if you want to catch me on the twitches instagram or even on discord you can find all those links in the description down below and again i really appreciate you guys watching the video if you guys enjoyed it hope to catch you guys on the next one peace